Good morning, everybody. Temps are actually down a little bit this morning. More of you in the 50s. It feels good out there. We do have some cloud cover to the west. So whereas yesterday we had a good chunk of the Ozarks, something kind of like this that was covered up in cloud cover, well, that's absent this morning, and we have more to the west. So the temperature trend has been reversed, a little warmer to the west than yesterday, cooler to the east. Now, those showers you see over in Kansas, you can actually see just a little bit of a spin there. That's an upper level trough that's going to dive southeast. We're going to look at that here in a second. Uh, to the north, you'll notice that yellow line kind of runs from real close to Chicago back through Nebraska, and there is an upper wave going through the Great Lakes, a little more north of that X, but the idea is it's kind of a slingshot effect, and that's going to push another front through here this evening. However, temperatures don't come up a lot today, but we are going to see it uh, come up maybe two, three degrees, something like that. So close to 80 at lunchtime. I would add a few over here toward Rolla and Houston, uh, at least a couple anyway. So uh, we're talking mostly mid 80s in that region and about average from Springfield South through Harrison. Now tomorrow morning behind that front, we're actually going to be a smidge cooler. Uh, I'm sorry, warmer temperatures uh, back into the 60s, but then high temps tomorrow will be back down a bit. So we're growing the range from low to high today and then we're shrinking it again tomorrow and honestly uh, Thursday looks pretty good too. Now this is a complex pattern. We've got the jet stream here. Uh, the main branches to the north. We've got that upper low uh, coming through Kansas. And what will happen with that is the main trough uh, is up here. So that's the strongest jet stream. This one here is going to take Idalia, uh, and it'll be a, what they think is a Cat 3 hitting uh, the Florida coast probably early Wednesday. That's going to move it along the coast and then out to sea while we have a bit of a split in that upper low. Now, the circulation is going to get real interesting here as high pressure builds into the central plains. That little piece of energy that breaks off that you see down here in Arkansas, well, remember uh, with counterclockwise or clockwise flow rather around high pressure pressure, it should move that low back to the southwest and then potentially north into the Ozarks. Uh, that's by Labor Day. So the next storm will move that northeast, but what it means for us is at least a chance for a few storms as we head into the Labor Day weekend. Now, the, the satellite presentation here on Idalia is still looking pretty good. Not as many intense thunderstorms as last night, but here's the expectation. We got really warm water, like upper 80s temperature here uh, and low shear. So this is set to really deepen very quickly today. And National Hurricane Center says that by late tonight, this could be a Category 3. And then make landfall, Big Bend to Texas. This would be just to the southeast of Tallahassee, the way it looks right now. And that's going to mean a significant storm surge along and east of there. Uh, and, of course, uh, the wind as well. Now, that would then move up along the coast and then out to sea. But it would likely affect portions of Georgia, South Carolina, and eastern uh, North Carolina with some very heavy rain. So uh, this should say Hurricane Idalia. That has likely uh, strengthened this morning. Now, temp-wise here, we're going to go down after today, back up to normal or average on Friday. And there's that little chance of rain as we head to Sunday and Labor Day. It's not going to be a washout. High temps look to stay low 90s through a good chunk of next week.